Hey everybody, Courtney here with a short but sweet yoga inspired workout. So do stand tall. We're gonna start with some basic squats. Feet hip to shoulder width. Similar to the chair pose, you wanna inhale, sit your booty back. Let's reach the arms forward as we do. And then root through those heels, rising basic mountain shape. Bending the knees, inhale. And exhale. Adding a little calf raise, starting to work your balance. Inhale, root down, lift up, exhale. Keep going. Two more. I'm gonna spin so you can see, orient so you have plenty of room to take the legs out wide. So again, hip to shoulder width with the feet, parallel everything to each other. On your inhale, sit your booty back and down that basic stationary squat or chair shape. And as you exhale, you're gonna root and rise, lifting through that outer right hip and thigh. Bend the knees, squat, and exhale. Take a few more, inhale. Keeping that standing leg and mountain, the torso upright. Last time. Switching it up, same idea, other leg. Bend those knees. Root down and rebound up. And sit low. Root and rise, lifting high without force. Three more. Last two. And one. You're welcome to face the top of the mat or again, whatever way is most comfortable for you. Going from that stationary squat into a stationary squat jump. So if you're ready for it, bend the knees, sit back. From here, you're gonna swing the arms, maybe reaching up. As you're ready, go. Bend the knees, sit low. Three more. Last two. And one. Now hold, get low. Take another deep breath. From there, we're gonna take a standing fold, drop the head, a little shake, yes and no. Rolling or lengthening, a breath or two to rest. And one more set of the squats or simply stationary squat tiptoe. As you're ready, sit back. I'm reaching arms back. Root and rise. Last three, two, and one. And going down, hovering. That breath or two getting low. Take the inhale and as you exhale, fold. Little shake, yes. Little shake, no. Eventually inhale, roll or lengthen, come on up. And we exhale. Standing on your right foot, fine mountain. Pick up the left knee, catch your balance. Breathing in, breathing out, the navel draws toward the spine. Stationary warrior three. So you're gonna reach your left heel back. The hands can be at the hips, or at some point we'll add more challenging arms. And then slowly root down and do stand up. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Take those arms forward if you'd like to try. Inhale. Last time. Rooting down, standing up. This time that lifted foot can release. Shake and shimmy your way to side two. Picking up the knee. Focusing on one spot, something not moving, maybe starting with hands and hips. Virabhadrasana three, the balanced warrior. Inhale and up. Exhale. Keep going. Feeling the glute, the inner thigh rolling up if you're starting to unsquare like I was. Final warrior. 
and top foot releases, a little shake and shimmy. Give yourself that moment, inhale, do shrug. Exhale, do release. Let's sweep the arms up. We'll say lengthen the fold, take it down. A little shake yes, shake no. Planting the hands, you're gonna walk yourself back and do find a plank pose. Shoulders are over wrists, navel's drawing in and up. Take another deep breath, just being here. You'll center the right hand, working into a side plank. Pivot to the outer edge of the right foot, rooting to rise. The left fingertips can help guide you. Or of course, reaching the arm up, maybe over. Keep that top hip stack, but maybe float the foot up for a breath. And then tap it down, come to neutral. Take that moment, if you need to modify, do bring it to the knees. Center the left hand, left wrist. Pivot to the outer edge of that left foot, maybe using the right fingertips to guide you at first. Rolling it open, and maybe even sweeping the arm, lifting the leg. Take at least one more breath. Bring it back to center, stationary plank. See how slow you can go, even if you have to put the knees down to do it. Shift forward, elbows draw back. Another couple of inhales and exhales, passing through stick, chaturanga and landing. Reaching the arms forward, legs stretch back. Next, inhale. Now bend the elbows. Lift the legs so they're hovering, waking up the back body. Inhale, arms forward, let everything go. Exhale, pull the elbows back, kind of a cactus shape, opening the heart. Three more on your own, inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Hands outside the mid ribs. Curl the toes under. And let's push back up to the plank from here. Rewind. Coming down to the knees for just that moment. Forearms to the floor. Stepping your way into a plank shape here. So dolphin plank or prone, however you want to call it. Right away, come to that right forearm, outer edge of the right foot. And let's take our side plank in this variation. Can top arm can reach. Rooting down, lifting up, maybe that foot hovers. Just a breath. Come to center. Draw the navel in as you breathe out. Coming to the left forearm, outer edge of the left foot root. Right foot can stack and eventually revolve it open. Again, just that breath, two. Mm, soft face, soft shoulders. Back to neutral. Take the inhale, maybe two. Exhale, release. Sphinx pose. Gently pull the earth back, heart forward. Feel the belly, the chest releasing. So take another inhale. And as you exhale, melt down toward the ground. Big breath here. Letting something, anything not serving you, go. <sighs> Hands outside the mid-ribs. Push to the knees. Sitting back onto the heels for a moment. And a big shoulder roll. <sighs> Put your hands together at your heart for a few breaths. Checking in. If you gotta get back to work, back to other responsibilities, go do your thing. Otherwise, check out another one of my videos and continue on with your workout or your practice. Namaste.